Hey table tennis junkies, I teach a lot of serves on my channel, so I wanted to make a video with my top five tips to help you improve your serves. These tips are not serve specific, so they'll be able to help you with any serve that you do, and they've helped me a lot in my own game. I can guarantee that if you follow the tips in this video that your serves will get better, and just as a heads up, all of these tips have been very beneficial for my game, but I'm gonna rank them from least to most important, so here we go. Tip number five, watch the ball. This doesn't make for a good picture, but it's really important for a good serve. As you're, uh, after you throw the ball in the air, you should really be watching it all the way through contact. It can be pretty tempting to look at your opponent after you throw the ball up to see if they're ready or how they're moving, but if you do, it can hurt you in two ways. The first is that it's much harder to make good contact with the ball if you're not watching it. And the second is if you are watching your opponent after you throw the ball in the air, it's tempting to change your serve after the toss and that's really a big no-no because after you throw the ball up in the air, if you try to change it, it's, it's very easy to make mistakes. What you want to do is you want to look at your opponent before you serve, think about what they might be ready for or might not be ready for, think of a serve, commit to it, and then when you throw the ball in the air, from the moment you throw the ball in the air, you want to watch the ball until the moment you contact it. This leads me into tip number four of think about the serve you're going to do before you decide to serve it. As you think about the serve you want to do, you should also think about the options that your opponent will have for that serve that you choose. When you know what your opponent's options are, it'll narrow down what you need to be ready for and it'll help you prepare for the third ball attack. An example of this would be if I were to serve a short, low backspin ball into my opponent's forehand, that's going to limit them to either a short forehand push or a deep forehand push. So I can prepare for a, a push, either short or deep, but I, I know that it'll be a push and I can stay close to the table and I can stay low and get ready for that. What I don't need to be ready for is I don't need to be ready for a topspin ball that's gonna be bounding towards me. I don't need to be worried about a flip if I keep the serve low. So I can really limit my opponent's options and what I need to be prepared for if I know my serves. Tip number three, use your wrist. The general rule is that the easier the ball is to hit, the more wrist you can use. So your own serve is actually the easiest ball in, in table tennis that you can hit, so it warrants the most amount of wrist. Your wrist action is going to be the primary way that you generate spin on your serve. The ball isn't moving, so if you want to generate either speed or spin on your serve, you need to find a way to generate racket speed and friction between the rubber and the ball. And the best way to do that is to have lots of wrist motion on the serve. Tip number two, pay attention to your serve depths. There are three categories for serve depth. There are fast long serves, there are half long serves, and then there are short serves. You should be able to do each of your serves in each serve depth category. This is important because some opponents might struggle with fast long serves, some opponents might struggle with the short serves, and some opponents might struggle with the half long serves. If you only have one fast serve, for instance, like a fast pendulum no-spin serve, you might win some points with it, but it'll be easy for your opponent to catch on to it and learn how to return it. I'm going to share with you a really important serving strategy that I've had a lot of success with. Let's say you have a serve that works, and the serve example I always like to use is a short backhand serve into my opponent's forehand. Let's say you're, you're doing that serve and it's working. You have three options. Two of those options are, are bad options, and one option is a really good option. The first option is you can save this backhand serve until a crucial point in the match, and you can pull out that serve at that crucial point. This might work at that crucial point, but you're gonna miss a lot of points that you could have won in the meantime, and you might never have even reached that crucial point in the match if you had just kept going with the backhand serve. So that's, that's one reason why the saving the serve is a bad option. The second option is you can keep doing your backhand serve to win points with it and just kind of keep milking it, but your opponent might get used to it, and you don't want that either, so I consider that also a bad option. The third option is my favorite option because it works really well and you just need to have a good serving arsenal to do it. So what you want to do is, let's say you have a backhand backspin serve into the short forehand and it works and you want to do it again. So instead of doing the short backhand backspin, instead come in and do a pendulum serve that's short backspin to the exact same location. 
then come in and do the tomahawk serve that's the same spin and same location. Then do the reverse pendulum serve with the same spin, same location, and then do the windshield wiper serve and just keep mixing the serve with the same spin and the same location. This is really difficult as an opponent to deal with because if you have a weakness in like for instance the short backspin and the forehand, it's very hard to, to overcome that weakness. A lot of times they're not going to do it, but they can get used to a specific serve. So if you have lots of different serves, you can kind of use that weakness and keep pounding that weakness over and over again without them really getting used to anything that you're giving them. And a lot of times they won't recognize, like it's the exact same serve, it might be different sizes, but it's the exact same location and the exact same serve, but they just keep missing it or doing a bad, poor return, and you can keep winning points that way. The key to this strategy is to use the same spin and the same location while using different serves. Tip number one, this is really important, contact the ball low. If you're serving and you contact the ball high, the ball is gonna to have to travel downward towards the table and then it's gonna bounce up and, the, and your serve is gonna be much higher than it needs to be. If you contact the ball low towards the surface of the table, the ball isn't gonna to have to travel downward and it's not gonna bounce up as much and it'll have a lot better forward energy, which is what you want. This will help you with all of your serves, whether they're short, half long, or fast long, but I've found it to be especially helpful on the fast long serves to contact the ball low. Sometimes when I'm practicing my serves, I'll think about the height of where I'm contacting the ball. So let's say I serve and I contact it here. The next serve, I'm trying to contact it just a little bit lower. And then after I contact it there, I'm going to try to hit it a little bit lower and then a little bit lower. And I just keep going down, down, down and try to see how low I can contact the ball. And usually the lower I go, the better my serves are. That's all for this week's video. Let me know of any questions you might have in the comments. And remember to subscribe for more weekly content and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next week. Thanks. Here's an example of me contacting the ball from a high point and then comparing it to contacting the ball at a low point. See how high and slow and it bounces up? And that one I contacted low, pretty much the exact same stroke, but I'm going forward and the ball is able to skip on the table instead of hit, heading down and then up. Here's an example of me serving uh, different serves, but with the same spin and to the same location. Here's the backhand serve. Reverse pendulum. Regular pendulum serve. Here's the windshield wiper. And the tomahawk serve. Again, these are all different serves, but to the same location and with the same spin.